Hello, welcome to Mainline Baits Coral Fishing TV, where today I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into a new smart product that we've been developing. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a tank test all prepared and ready to go. But before we do that, I want to let you know there's going to be a giveaway with this video. We're going to give you a chance to win one of each of our six existing smart liquids. So make sure you watch to the end of the video on details on how you can enter. Right, let's get on with the test. So first thing is, this is the product in hand. And what we've been working on is, as opposed to the smart liquid or the current smart liquids, which are brilliant for mixing in with boilies, chop boilies, particles, spob mixes, pellets, ground baits, stick and bag mix, if you, you know, solid PVA bags, anything like that. This product, the way we're developing this is for it to be more focused on your hook bait. So it's a lot thicker consistency, it's more dense, and the whole idea of this really is to dip your hook bait in prior to casting out super boosting the attraction of that hook bait, whatever it might be, and getting it out there and letting it do its thing. Now, in this case, this liquid is quite a bright pink. It's got a, a very nice aroma. I believe that's one of the test freezer bait boilies that we've got going at the minute, the same flavor, but all of this can change. Like I say, we're just in the testing process at the minute. We're researching what this product might be able to give us. So the colors may change, the flavors will change, the consistency may even change, the type of tub that it comes in, that would probably change as well. At the minute, we're just putting the essentials together of this liquid just so that we can keep testing it. So what I'm gonna do is I've taken one of our fruity high visual pop-ups and I've attached that to a hinge rig. And the reason that I'm doing that is it's quite a heavy rig. It's also a pop-up rig. So that also gives us a chance to see how this, dip, this, this new smart product might affect the buoyancy of a pop-up hook bait. I'm not really gonna get that if I used a bottom bait or a wafter. So, quite simply going to, and I can see this is gonna probably be messy, but I'm just gonna dunk that into the, the liquid. And what I can tell you at the minute is as I'm immersing that into this smart hook bait dip, if you like, is that it's probably got the, the consistency of a, a custard, something like that, a cream custard. It's that sort of consistency, quite thick, very gloopy, that's sort of covering my hook bait. And then just gonna allow any excess just to come off the hook bait back into the tub. Now we've done smart liquid tests before. Everybody seems to have a comment about how much we used, even though we don't use very much. And I can tell you there that if I measured the height of the liquid inside that tub before and after, I bet there wouldn't even be a millimeter in it. There's hardly anything there. So it'd be really interesting just to see how much attraction, how much of a cloud, what this liquid, and what this smart product will actually do in terms of attraction. Right, I think we're ready to get it in the tank. So as you can see, this new smart product reacts in the water instantly, dispersing a high level of attraction. And I suppose just as significant is the fact that it hasn't had a detrimental effect on the buoyancy of this pop-up. Perhaps it's just leaning over ever so slightly, but I'd still be really happy with the hooking potential of that rig. Going back to the reaction of the smart dip, we can see that it's dispersing in all different kinds of ways. Up into the water column, sending small particles rapidly towards the surface, which would be pulling fish down, as well as sending slower 
more cloud-like particles into the mid layers. Let's speed things up a little bit to see this reaction even better. And now you can really see how this new smart product is not only sending attraction and particles up into the water column, there's a huge stream of smart product going down vertically to the bottom of the fish tank. Now in a fishing situation, this would obviously be the lake bed. So just with one glug of the hook bait, and remember at the beginning of the video, we showed you it was only a light coating of the smart product. And this is one of the key differences between this and the other smart liquids that we have in the range, is that as we showed you, this liquid is more gloopy, it sticks to the hook bait, allows that hook bait to get down to the lake bed and do its thing. Now after six to seven minutes of the rig being in the water, all but the last of the smart product is left the hook bait. But we can see now just how much of it has covered what would be the lake bed. And why is this so important? Why not just be happy with attraction leaking up into the water column? The benefit of this, the benefit of flavor in the lake bed is the fact that once feeding fish have visited your spot, perhaps clearing out your spot before you get a bite, they would still be pulled back and attracted to that spot, that piece of lake bed out in the lake because it is still impregnated with attraction generated by this smart product, meaning that it's possible to generate quick bites to the recast. And as we look at this wide angle, it's hard to believe that all of this attraction has come from one dip of the hook bait and a minute amount of hook bait dip. Now it is also worth pointing out that this rig and the smart product that we've placed on it has been confined to this fish tank. So you're seeing a condensed version of its reaction. That reaction in a real life fishing situation would have spread far and wide by now, dispersing across the lake bed, through the mid layers and up into the upper layers of the water column. So when you place a hook bait into a smart product and put it into the margin, you may not see the same reaction as what you're seeing here, because like I say, this is condensed, all these particles, microscopic elements of attraction are confined to the fish tank. Now it's important to show you this sort of test because it's showing you what is actually going on and what type of attraction is actually far reaching from your spot. You know, that's a really important element when you're fishing. Sometimes lazy summer fish can be quite close to your spots. They just need that little spark of attraction to get that curiosity going or inspire that feeding mood. And the same certainly applies to winter fishing. Again, you can have single hook baits very, very close to dormant fish. And you just need something just to spark that little bit of activity from the carp that may give you a bite. Now, as we finish this test, I hope you've gained some insight into this product that, like I say, is on test at the moment, but hopefully we can bring it to your fishing soon. I can see there being some really exciting possibilities for this product not just for you the angler but for us as well as we test and develop it especially when it comes to flavor combinations and sweeteners that would really work well with hook baits so there you go i think you agree this is a pretty exciting product to be in development and hopefully we'll be able to bring that to your angling approach soon okay now for the time that you've all been waiting for and details how you can enter our competition to win one of each of our six smart liquids all you need to do is go down to the comment section below and write hashtag mainline baits for your chance to enter, where we'll pick one lucky winner at random. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification button so you know when our next video is coming out. If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that subscription button. You'll be able to enter into all our competitions. And if you'd like to watch some more cart fishing videos, I'll leave links to those here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.